I am making myself some French press coffee. Like I mentioned in an earlier video, it really is better than normal coffee. And I am attempting to get the house ready for a party of sorts tonight. I'm having a girls night over here. I didn't factor in the fact though that um, I can't wear uh, my prosthetic leg or anything like that. And I also, don't tell my mom this guys, and mom if you're watching, feel free to call and rub it in, but I've been hopping a lot because it's so much easier to hop than to use crutches, right? Well, I think I hurt my foot. The one remaining one. Yeah. So I am going to be on crutches and not hop. Delightful. So now we let this sit for three to four minutes uh, after covering it up. That's what WikiHow told me and you know, you always gotta believe that site. See my little sentry? She's always watching out the window. I just ate each little camera shot right now. Good morning, my beautiful friends. An interesting message was received and I wanted to tackle it because I haven't actually talked about this before. I'm Joe if you don't know me, and this is Melissa, like Melissa, except a cow. Moo, because she's a cow, get it? If medical science came on the medical market in a couple years, that would provide a different option other than the option that I chose, which is chopping my leg off, would I regret my decision? This is a subject that my family and I hotly debated in the weeks leading up to my last surgery because I think it's a very realistic possibility. Um, my husband, Brian, especially, was a really big advocate of me taking my time. And I understand why, because like I said, new things happen all the time. Like if I just limped around for a few more years, I think it's entirely possible that in like five years, we could see internal amputations where they like, you know, peel your skin back and then just replace your leg with carbon fiber on the inside and then zipper your skin right back over, you know? And so you never ever see the difference. And no one ever knows that you have, you know, metal on the inside, but you look totally normal on the outside. And that was a weird example to give, but what I'm trying to say is I think it's entirely possible that there could be crazy medical developments in just a couple years. And I've chopped off my leg. Medical science moves at the speed of light. Um, stuff changes constantly. Really, really cool things happen. We live in an incredible age. So if I found out in a couple years that something came on the market that would have solved every issue I had, I honestly can't even imagine what something like that would be because it wasn't just one issue I had. Like just everything in my ankle was screwed up. But if there was something like that that happened, granted we can never actually accurately predict our emotions so we're in a situation, but I, like I said, I walked into this with my eyes open. I knew what my decision was. I knew that there was a possibility that like, hey, crazy medical technology could come out suddenly and it could override this decision. But I really don't think that new technological developments would render my choice to pursue a better life the wrong decision by amputation simply because I chose the best option that I had at the time. Like, what's the harm? I could always amputate later if in a few years there were still no options. The issue is, is that I, that's what I was doing anyways for years and nothing had changed. Um, in 14 years, there were no major developments when it came to my case in particular. There wasn't anything impending that was cool and awesome and could fix all the problems that I was having and all the pain. And so um, removing the issue quite literally was the best option for me. And I don't think that I would regret that because I made the best decision that I could at the time. I knew exactly what I was doing, I knew exactly what I was choosing, and it didn't make sense to me to wait for something that didn't have any kind of possible date attached to it, that didn't have any form yet. And I am a big advocate for hope, but the hope that I wanted to act on was hope for a better life now that was attainable and achievable and I could actually go after. Honestly, we can't spend our lives in regret. All of us make decisions based on the information that we have at the time. This applies to literally everything. And most of us uh, tend to hate ourselves for decisions that we made at times in our lives where we didn't have all the information we wanted to have. And all we can do is make decisions based on the information we had. And I make decisions based on the information I had. It definitely is a weird thing to think about. I hope that that answers your question. Also, I want to give a really quick shout out to Alyssa and Jody and Rochelle. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. They joined up this week and I just want to say sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys. You guys are awesome and I so appreciate your support. Well, hello again. Brian stopped by the P.O. box on his way home and picked up this from lovely Marilyn, who's been a subscriber for a little while. I wanted to show you guys what it is because I was talking about getting ready for that party tonight and this literally showed up at the perfect time. She sent a gooey butter cake from their own bakery, which is so cool. And the second one, 
because she remembered from a video that I said my favorite cake was red velvet is a red velvet one. <laughs> the only question is, should I be a good host and wait until my guests arrive to uh, give it a try? Or should I do the impatient thing that I would much rather do and try them out now? I guess I'll be a good friend and wait. I hope wherever this finds you in the world that you are having a wonderful day. And if not, that it gets a little bit brighter thinking about you guys. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye guys.